Hello, and in this video, we're going to use on shape to create our first isometric shape. Uh, so to do this, uh, we're going to first go to on shape. Uh, it should be in your browser. I'm using Chrome for mine. Uh, for this one, I'm in my 20 ISO folder. I'm going to put all these in the same folder. That way, when I go to submit it, I can just share that whole folder. Uh, to get going, you're just going to hit create and then a document. I'm going to name it ISO 1 because it's the first ISO we we'll do. Uh, then when it loads our workspace, we want to create the shape. To do that, we're going to have to start a sketch. Uh, so I'm just going to hit sketch, and I'm going to start on this front face. So I click on the front face, and I'm going to click to change my view as well. Uh, once I'm here, uh, then I need to create my shape. So I'm going to look back at ISO 1, and I'm going to make an outline, this box outline, and then I'm going to do some subtraction uh, to take away pieces that are not part of this block. So if we count, it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 high, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus an additional 1, 2, 3, 4, so 5 and 4 makes 9 long. Uh, so we're just going to make that cube first, and then we're going to subtract some pieces away from that. Uh, so now we head back to on shape, and I'm just going to grab uh, this box tool, this corner rectangle tool, and I'm going to start on my origin. You can see it highlights it when I go over it, and then I'm going to go over and up. I can type in those values, or I can click, and then I can type in those values. So on the base, we said it's going to be 9, so I type 9, and then I can hit enter, and then I can come over on the side, and I, we said it's 5 high, and I hit enter, and that makes this box. I'm going to zoom out so it's a little easier to see, and we can see it creates this shape. Uh, then I'm just going to hit this green check to finish the sketch. I could do some subtraction now, but just to keep it basic, I'm going to uh, go ahead and do our next step, which is called extrude. Uh, so I have this shape, I've created this sketch, and now I need to extrude it out. So if I come up here, we can see next to sketch, it says extrude, or you can hit shift E. And we want to see how far, how far out we want this thing to go. So again, we just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it goes 6 out. So I come back to my browser, uh, and I just click in the box, and I tell it how far I want it to go. In this case, it's 6 for depth. Once I hit the check, or if I hit enter, it previews it for me, and then I can hit the green check to accept it. So now I have this big blue box and I want to subtract some pieces from it. So I made the outline and I want to subtract. Uh, so first I'm going to subtract this outer edge because none of the pieces have this outer triang triangular shaped edge. Uh, to do that I'm going to use some lines. Uh, so if we look it goes into and then it goes diagonal down to the corner. Uh, so to do that we're gonna, again going to start a sketch. I'm just going to click on the outside. Again I'm going to turn my view so it's easy to see. And I'm just going to sketch with lines. So I start in the corner, I go in, and I want it at 2. You can either try to get it exactly 2, which may be a little difficult, or you can click and type in a 2 and hit enter. Uh, then I want to go down to the corner. You can see it snaps in the corner. I click on that snap. And then I want to go back up to the top and close off my triangle. Once I do that, I have a closed shape, so I can hit my green check. And again, we can do our extrude. Uh, again, I'm going to change my view just so it's easy for you to see. You don't have to do that. It's just easier to see that shape. Uh, I'm going to extrude, but this time I want to remove. So it's not new. It's not an add. I want to remove that piece. And I'm going to click on what I want to remove. And then it's going in the correct direction. Now I have to tell it how far. Uh, I could say through all. In this case, we know it's going through everything. So we could also hit 6. And you can see it cuts everything out. Uh, when we do this, then you can hit your green check to accept that deletion. So I hit that, and we get rid of that edge there. Uh, so now, we'll, if we look back at our shape, now we have these other interest pieces uh, to take away. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my shape. Again, I'm going to start a sketch. I click on that front face, and just to make it easier to see, I'm going to turn so I face directly at that front face. Uh, this time, we have to go in a little farther, so if we count, if we're looking on the bottom, it goes in 1, 2, 3, 4 more additional. Uh, same thing on the top, it goes in 4. So I'm going to start from this top corner and work my way around. Uh, so I'll go back to my shape. I click my line tool. I start, I'm start. i going to start in this top corner just like last time. This time we're going to go in 4, so I just click and I can type in 4. 
and enter. Then I go, uh, so we're at this corner here and we want to go down. Uh, we want to put it on this line and you can see it's making this uh, symbol here that shows it's on the line. It's got kind of a T-shape. I want to make sure it's making that. Uh, I don't want this box. It's setting a constraint, so I don't want that yellow box around it. I just want that constraint sign. So I'm going to come down and I click. Uh, then I go over to my corner and I click when it shows the box. And this time I type in a 4 and enter. And that sets my distance. Uh, finally, you have to close off your shape by going up to that top corner. Uh, now that I have my shape closed, again, I'm just going to hit the green check and finish it off. Uh, to make it easy to show, see, I'm going to change my view so you can see that shape. Again, we're going to do an extrude and a cut. So extrude and remove. We click inside that shape we just sketched. And if we look back, we want it to go in two spaces. You can count one, two. Uh, so we're going back to our shape and change that depth to a two. Uh, we can hit enter and preview it, and you can see it goes in by two. And then the green check makes it go in. Uh, then we want to do that same shape on the other side. There's a few different ways you can go about doing that shape. Uh, one way would be to go through and draw that whole shape over and put it over on the other side. Uh, a lot of people don't like doing that because it's a little bit longer task. Uh, but that's one option you could have to do. Uh, but I'm just going to start a sketch. And it's select on the back for it because that's what we want it to show up. Uh, then we have a lot of different options we could choose from on how we could do that shape. Uh, the simplest way for beginners may be to sketch it again, uh, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to teach you some new tricks to do that here. Look, instead of sketching it again, we can come up here next to the text. There's a box that says use project, and we're going to click on that. So then if I click back to my other side, I can click on that shape that I just previously drew I, and cut out. And when I do, since I'm in a sketch, if I turn it back around, you can see it projects that shape over. So I can already hit my green check and then I can hit my extrude, click in the shape. And again, we want to remove. So we can hit remove and we go in the same distance too and hit enter or hit your green check and it goes in. Now if I click my cube and I show that view, you can see I've created ISO 1. Uh, hopefully this helps. You can see it matches up. Hopefully this helps in your creation of ISO 1. If you have questions, let us know. Otherwise, good luck.